Welcome to the city of Raven Creek for our Last of Us inspired challenge. Our mission is to take back the city of Raven Creek by clearing out zombies and starting a new colony within it. The zombies are numerous, the streets are blocked, the city is overgrown, and the crew is questionable. So can we overcome these odds, or will Raven Creek remain fallen? At the beginning of our adventure, we were separated and spread out all over the map, meaning that our first objective was to find each other. I myself was fortunate enough to start out in an apartment building with minimal zombies inside. However, others were not so lucky. I just fell to my death into a horde of zombies. Once we formed our faction and were able to secure some writing utensils, we began to mark our positions on a map we all shared. Ooh, I uh, want my symbol to be the lightning bolt. That's mine, I call it. Did, did, did you catch that I called the lightning bolt symbol? It's mine, the lightning bolt. Uh, I feel like, I feel like you're... No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> it's E-Rock. <laughs> Like I rock lightning, like, and I have a, and I have a, a, a electric guitar. You. I marked the apartment I was in with an X, and it seemed that that would be a pretty good place for us to meet up, seeing as how I was the only one that was still alive and near the symbol that they had originally drawn. Oh, I see the X. Oh. Oh, yeah. you saw the X? Oh, Mavin, I saw you first. I see the X. You guys see the X? Hey, that's where I'm at. Yay! Hey. Oh. Not as cool as the, the lightning X. bolt, but I see it. I, well, you know what? If, if the X endures, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, my, okay. my guy is bored and hungry, but I'm alive. Well, I've not stayed alive for a while. <sighs> this game, everywhere I turn, there's just more zombies. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, 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 keep thinking, I keep thinking you say zombies. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. You know what the funny thing is? Is I'm, I'm glad that we're all recording video because I still haven't left the building. <laughs> How does that feel? That's... Like to just not have to worry about anything. Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel great because I don't feel like I'm making progress. Uh, but... Oh no! Well, I tell you what, it doesn't feel like I'm making progress either. Oh, I'm glad that this is a shared feeling that none of us feel like we're making progress. Hey, I feel like I am getting towards the X. I just, I run into so many zombies, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. The first to make it to the meeting point was Swift. He was lucky enough to spawn the closest. Oh, wait, hold on. Are we in the same building? Swift, don't tell me that you yes. just walked into the building. Oh, ah! come on, dude. Wouldn't that no, be nice? I spawned into the building. Oh, oh lucky! Wait, did you guys hear me scream? No, uh, it, no, I did not. Oh, it must have peaked. I think Discord. I think Discord is just like that was not a noise that I want. <laughs> I want to share. Um, I just. How far out are you? Everywhere. How far out are you? Because if you're close, like I can't stop to tell you that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, we can't even. We can't. We still can't. The adventure I have been on is <laughs> it's epic. Is remarkable. Is, it, is adventure the right word? Uh, I hope you make it, man. Maybe not. I hope you make it. Through a great deal of strife and panic, Melon was the next person to make it to our rendezvous point. Melon. <gasps> Mad Melon. It's you! Wait. I Wait. made it! Does anybody have any bandages? Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Here, let's get inside, let's get inside, and then, all right, let me medical check you. I just need my hand bandaged. All right, you got it, man. You got it. We, guys, we're together! Also, I keep- Oh, sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, you are, e yeah. where are you? Yeah, E-Rock, where are you, man? I died, and now I was pretty darn close, and now, I mean, I could be further, but I'm pretty far away again. Am I the only one who's I'm still asleep? still running from hordes of sprinting zombies! You are the only one that is asleep, yes. Oh my gosh. We, we oh would all gosh. like to sleep. Oh my word. I would love to <laughs> sleep, but I think I'm about to die. Oh, stupid. I'm gonna die. Yep, they're dead. Erok is dead. All right. Uh, everyone sleep. Erok, don't spawn yet. Oh, okay. And then we'll find a safe house. And then... This is literally my existence is an inconvenience to you. No, it's not. It's I'm glad you I said mean, it. I mean, it actually is. It would have been mean <laughs> if I said it. <laughs> All right, is everyone sleeping? <laughs> oh, no. wait. I mean, yes, technically. You're sleeping with it's the fishes. Eternally. Yep. <laughs> with the three of us together, we decided to check out a nearby clothing store while we waited for E Rock to join us. Oh, Melons. I'm really close to you now. I can see you. You're across oh, the street. Hey, 
ways so the strategy is just die a bunch. Yeah, you're across the street, man. You're good at Join that strategy. Us. I just killed myself again. No, <laughs> you jumped off. The, you were across the street and you jumped off the building. Oh. I didn't. I didn't think I was on a building. It didn't look like that at first. <laughs> You just you got you got too excited. I guess so. I was like, "Hey guys, uh, I'm over here." And then, don't worry, this fur coat really, really goes with my style. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Come, come here, come here, come here. That fur. I wear your granddad. I know. I'm not saying. <laughs> you got you got some real Macklemore vibes going, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, and your glasses, a man. A lot of zombies just walked by our front door. Oh here. really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh let's chill. Despite the unfortunate setback, Erox's next iteration still spawned pretty close to us, so he was able to join up with the group pretty soon. Guys, join us! I made it. And there are zombies. Hi, hi, everybody, hi. Finally, we were all together, and we could start working towards. Guys, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> there's coming out everywhere. Are you okay, bit? Guys, 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 guys. If you if you can, watch out, Melvin. If you can, let's get up the stairs, because then we can have a choke point. Choke point, choke point. <laughs> oh, Damn. there's so many more upstairs. There's more upstairs? All right, all right. You got <laughs> yeah, we got to bail. <laughs> We've got to bail. Oh, oh crap. Gosh, no. <laughs> there's zombies everywhere. We got to run, guys. <laughs> we got to get out of here. <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta bail, we gotta bail, we gotta bail. <laughs> Melvin, <laughs> run! Oh, Melvin, run! Run! <laughs> hey guys, we got more coming, oh, we got more go, coming. Go, 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 oh, go! Gotta get out of here, guys, oh we gotta get out of here. Don't, don't leave me, don't leave me, you guys left me. Don't leave me. Oh, <laughs> crap! I'm taking There's so many. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna die. I saw how many there were. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Once again, we were scattered throughout the map. Swift had died, followed by E-Rock, and then finally I died as well. The only one who made it out of this was Melon. While the rest of us had perished, Melon was able to clear out a spot and claim a safe house for all oh, of us to meet up at. I, I think I claimed it. Okay, I claimed a safe house. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, my man. That is until the safe house became unsafe. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No, well, you you you, you check spawn at safe spot, at safe house, right? Your job, Mel Melon. Your job right now is you got to keep the safe house of course safe. Of I did. That's the thing is uh, that might be impossible. It already right isn't now. safe, is it? Did you just pick the least safe safe house in like the whole city? I'm defending our safe house with my life. I just wanted to be said. I am the main character of this adventure, <laughs> but I am not going to make it out alive. <laughs> I definitely have gotten bit. I am dead. I am absolutely torn apart dead. What followed could only be described as torture. We died over and over and over again, just trying to make it out of a spawn area. Finally, e -Rock spawned in a location that was relatively safe and not too far away from the rest of us, which he decided to mark with his many lightning bolts. Claimed. Safe house is claimed. Oh, wow. e -Rock, I can see you on the map. Can you see me? Uh, yes. I'm actually... I'll, I'll, I'll put another little circle of... Oh, uh, no. This is embarrassing. <laughs> The light. I didn't think that the lightning bolt was gonna become such a staple of this, uh, of this whole thing. So I think now would probably be a good time to explain one of the rules that we had set up for this challenge. In the game of Project Zomboid, if you claim a safe house, you can set it up so that when you or your faction mates die, they can respawn at that said safe house. We decided that the function of a safe house was a good idea for this playthrough, but in the spirit of the challenge, we established that you could only set your respawn at the safe house once you have traversed the city and made it there in person at least once. So now the mission was get to the safe house. Melon was the first to make it to the new base. Hello. 
Hey, I've made it. You're here. You made it. All right. That means that you have now officially, both of you, set it. So if that's actually a safe house, set it so that way you respawn there. View safe house. Respawn in safe house. What's up? Unfortunately, soon after his arrival, the safe house once again became not so safe. There's zombies pouring into our house. Oh, oh who, did that, who made that happen? Great. Melon. Well, there's a window that's broken open and they're just pouring through it. Like literally pouring through it. Like, like through a strainer. Like a it's terrible. Of... Like waterfall through a strainer. It is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, the kitchen is full of them. I, that's what I said, man. <laughs> that's where they're <laughs> We killed them almost. You Wait, you guys survived? I, from what yeah. I understood, they yeah. were they were See? pouring he made in it like sound a waterfall. So oh yeah, they, Oh my gosh, they're definitely They are. It again. Yep. They are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over. <laughs> Meanwhile, Swift was having his own issues. No. No, 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 no. What in the world? Oh, there's a fence there! Gosh dang it! Finally, I was able to spawn in a location that wasn't immediately crawling with zombies. And I was able to find some useful items. That was the good news. The bad news was that I had quite a long distance I needed to travel in order to make it to the safe house. The next morning, I spent a good amount of time looting trunks of cars while I tried to quietly make my way through the city. But I did have a few close encounters. Oh, son <laughs> of a... Mm. What? How's it going over there? <sighs> like... Oh, I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. I was fortunate enough not to get bit, but I did end up trapping myself on this walkway overpass for quite a while. I was not the only one struggling, though. Swift was also on his own journey to the safe house, and he was not quite as lucky as I was. No! You have got to be kidding me. You know what I give right now? Mm, cardboard. Son of a... <sighs> on Swift's next iteration, he actually ran into an old friend of ours. Oh. My. I am 90% sure that, that is E Rock coming to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Are you me. serious? There's like no way, right? Let, I'm, I'm gonna survive this onslaught of zombies just so that I can. Okay, here we go. I'm checking. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness! Yeah! Yes! Unbelievable. After spending most of the day just sitting on the overpass waiting for zombies to leave, I started making my way towards the safe house again and made a discovery. Here's the deal, man. I wonder if I wonder if we had it wrong this entire time with the way that we've been trying to do this. And I, I might eat these words here in just a second. But uh, we've been trying to travel during the day because it makes it easier for us to see. But I'm thinking that it also makes it easier for the zombies to see. Also, I found a bulldozer and I'm marking it on the map. Yes. That's where I am, by the way. If you guys see that blue star, that's the bulldozer. Um, but that's currently my position as well. After walking for a while, it looked like Swift and I were pretty close to each other on the map. Hey Swift, we're really close to each other. Are you in a good spot or in a bad spot? I'm in a bad spot. Okay, I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna go the other direction then. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. <sighs> okay. Okay. Did you I might Did you make it out? I, I, I might have escaped, yeah. I mean, I did escape. Don't worry, as long as you... Oh, don't! No, no, no! Gosh! God, I had a crowbar that time! After a long and terrifying journey with a few close calls, I had finally made it to the safe house. Which one, which one of these is our safe house? The one that's marked as a symbol of truth and hope. <laughs> okay. You did it! To the safe house. I cannot believe. I cannot. Oh my gosh. 
And I had brought quite the haul with me. Do you have a hammer? I do. I do have a hammer. Guys, I got so many things. Here's 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 some of the things I got. I got a crowbar. I got a lighter. I got... All right. I'll give you your hammer Here, first. Here's because, what I got. Uh, <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> I don't have a hammer. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> oh, I, I have, I have five. Oh, yeah. I have five. I got, I got, I got jam right here. I got jam. I, I got, I have, a, I have a propane tank. I have duct tape, garbage bags, glue, rope, twine, tarp. I have, I, I have uh, tweezers, two crowbars, three flashlights, a lighter, lug wrenches, propane torch, saws, five screwdrivers, two wrenches, an axe, a pipe wrench, and I just don't have a hammer. I also have two <laughs> empty gas cans and a jug of water, like a, like a big oh. water jug. Oh my gosh. I have to say, with the three of us here working together as a team, I did feel so bad for Swift. I empathize with you, my friend. The difficulty of trying that. to get to the base is really, it's a struggle. Now, I don't really want to make this about me. <laughs> <laughs> then but, don't. Um, then don't make it about you. Well, I went through similar or worse, and no one was talking, of empathizing with me, or worried about me, or... I've been worried about everybody. You were the one who just found the safe house. And, and, and so we, you're the hero for all of us. E-Rock has saved Wait, us. You, that you, is true. You, can you, say you that saved again? us. Can you say that? Yes, E-Rock, e you you provided salvation for all of Wait, us. Wait, would would you say that 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 I myself am a symbol? <laughs> I will not say that. <laughs> I feel like you got everything that you needed out of me from from what I offered oh. you there. I, I am gonna live off of that for a long time. That's e, true. That, yeah. That was awesome. I called I really you a hero. That. It made me sick. So don't. <laughs> I, I, am, I am piling zombie corpses right now, but calling you a hero is what made me sick. <laughs> Later that day, in a moment of hope, Swift finally said the words we were all looking for. Yo, I'm, I'm outside the door. Wait, what? Of what? Of, of, what? of you guys, I Wait, think. Wait, really? Uh, I don't see you. Yeah, we don't- It said I was right by you. It said I was right by you. Oh, and then I came around a corner you, and there was you see, like a dozen zombies. Do you see the lightning bolt? Oh my god. I, I am in. I'm I'm running. I'm sprinting. One might even uh, say that that lightning Swift, bolt- Swift, I, I don't even see you on the map, man. Is a symbol. Oh, man. man. Oh, that is, that is the worst mirage of all time. Later, I started chopping wood for the base, but I didn't realize how much noise I was actually making. Oh, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. We got, we got zombies here. Is that a lot of zombies? Uh, so far, uh, it's three. Ooh, this is cool. A fl four, flamethrower. Four. Hey, f uh, hey, I need your help. Okay, coming back. I gotta mark this though. This is a cool little. I don't know why it's... This one has flamethrower fuel. Oh my gosh. Oh, two more okay. coming. All right, all right. Three more coming. Let, let me equip my crowbar. Four more coming, five more coming. Ah! It was too late. We were quickly overrun and Melon gave his life protecting me. <laughs> they just tore me. They just oh, tore me apart. Oh, the, the base, man, the base. I, I'm sorry, Melon. E-Rock came back to the base and quickly realized the gravity of our situation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, don't... you were not kidding. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I, you, I ran to safety so that way we could team up. I'm here too uh, now, right, we're just right, not safe anymore. Come up the stairs, anymore. come up the stairs. No, no, we need a choke point. We need a choke point to get I'm up. trying to get away. Wave after wave of zombies came, but we continued to hold the line. Oh dear! Oh, okay. oh this is terrifying! Right, oh my gosh! Stand, okay, stay in okay. the ground. Stay okay. in the ground. Okay. Oh, the system is working. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh. We got him! Oh. We got him! We got okay, him! We, we got, got him! You gotta stay strong. Stay strong. I know it's scary. <laughs> this is so gross. I know. <laughs> I know. It's so. It's terrifying. While E-Rock and I were fighting off the hordes of zombies, Swift finally made it to the safe house. Hey, I think I'm outside. I think I'm outside. 
gosh dang it i don't know yeah you're you are i outside. think i'm pretty Do sure i have this oh, house boy. swift go, go over to melancholy melvin and then and then okay. you've made it to the safe house once we felt we were through the worst of it we decided to try to clear out the rest of the zombies in the area Provise bandage oh melancholy melvin melvin come with me if you want to live you made it in here <laughs> Let's clear this place. All man. right, Let's I think we've got to clear. Oh, there's, there's. <laughs> okay, all right, back to back, back to back. Oh, Melvin, swing. There we go. Guys, up the stairs, up the stairs. That's that is the safest way. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Oh my gosh, one got me from behind. No, I'm bitten. Oh no. No way. Oh. I'm gonna have to go, guys. Well, not yet. You have 12 hours that you're still going to be alive. You can help us clear this I'll out. I'll stay in the front. It's, yeah, I got that. the last thing that you do. <laughs> Guys, I think we re recovered the safe house. Oh, wow. At last, we were victorious. And as a reward for our struggles, we found that a neighboring house had crops already grown and ready to be harvested. Wait, hold on. I think I can harvest these cabbages. Yes, exactly. You can't. And if you go inside, there are there are, there six, are shelves. I just got sixteen fresh cabbages to yeah, eat. Yeah, and there are shelves and shelves of seeds and stuff in there. Oh my gosh! Now that we had cleared what felt like most of the zombies in the local area within earshot, I went back to chopping wood while Swift went out looking for that hammer. And somehow, once again, he ran into Erock's body. Oh man! <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> you know what? What? <laughs> I found the rock's body. Ah! It's a sprinter. <laughs> it's a naked and it's one? chasing me. It's a dead, yep, naked one. It it's turned into a, a naked sprinter? sprinter? That's <laughs> yes. like my dream. <laughs> if there was a major for that in college. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Meanwhile, E-Rock had a task that he needed to do. I cannot tell you how... how how unsettled I am by the by what you've done here today with I, with I'm so sorry with I will I promise all once, of this crap all over the ground once, once the house is a little more cleaned up yeah you're gonna clean this up you're gonna clean <laughs> this up <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna clean this up later Melon ended up finding a hammer and gave it to Swift so we could start construction on the base defenses around the same time however he did make an unfortunate discovery. Guys, my bandage hit it. What? I've been bitten. No. Wait, wait, where have you been bit? On my right hand or my left hand. Let's chop it's it off. No, it's, no, no, no. It's we really got, no, we gotta chop it off. <laughs> we no, gotta chop stop it off. Chasing me. Melon, <laughs> Melon, we have to chop off your arm. No. We can save you. <laughs> <laughs> Every life is important. Despite my generous offer, Melon opted to leave his things behind and tried to lure as many zombies away as he could with his final breaths. We all slept in our settlement for the first time that night. The next morning, we went back to work. I was chopping trees, Swift was building the wall, Erock was organizing his mess, and Melon decided to grow crops in the worst spot ever. Why why are you putting why why are you putting plants right there? Because I want a farm closer to our house or in the safe zone. We all agreed that later on our future farm would be built in what used to be the park. So I got to work destroying the swing set. I then decided to use the sledgehammer for some interior renovations. It's Joanna Gaines up in here. Later that day, it was suggested that we should have a spot to burn the corpses so we wouldn't get sick. So we decided to move all of the bodies over to the sand pit in the park just to make sure we wouldn't light our house on fire. We spent the rest of the day moving corpses, but unfortunately, we were unsuccessful in burning them. But despite that, we did finally have a moment of peace as we sat around the campfire. It was a struggle to get to this point, and no doubt there will be countless struggles ahead. But with our half-built wall and our patch of crops, this is where our journey truly begins.